gold continues to generate new records and excitement. In the chaotic, volatile, unpredictable world where we don't know what politics, the economy, or world tensions will bring us next, there's one thing that history shows generates stability. Gold. Before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe for more economic updates. Gold made another strong showing last week, rising 3% to slightly more than $2,600 per ounce. One more push into record price territory. Analysts are increasingly enthusiastic about the potential implications of rate cuts for gold, especially considering the impressive performance the metal has been demonstrating for years. Gold has been rising recently on the strength of fundamental drivers, such as heightened geopolitical tension and record central bank demand. Analysts at Goldman Sachs, one of the world's largest and most prestigious investment banks, are amongst the most enthusiastic about gold right now. Recently, multiple Goldman Sachs analysts issued a research note declaratively titled Go for Gold, in which they encouraged investors to purchase the metal for several compelling reasons. In the note, the team of analysts led by PhD economist Samantha Dart said, Our preferred near-term long is gold. It remains our preferred hedge against geopolitical and financial risk. With added support from imminent Fed rate cuts and ongoing EM central bank buying, the analysts explicitly mentioned they do not have the same level of confidence in other commodities such as oil, natural gas, and copper, and said, in this softer cyclical environment, Gold stands out as the commodity where we have the highest confidence in near-term upside. DART is one of several high-profile investment strategists who have suggested that the reasons for buying gold are so compelling that investors should consider acquiring it despite the fact that the metal is sitting at all-time price highs. Recently, another well-known analyst, Michael Hartnett, Chief Investment Strategist at Bank of America, came out strongly in favor of gold, recommending to investors that they ignore the metal's price and, quote, do what central banks are doing, buy gold. As for Goldman Sachs, Samantha Dart and her team of analysts detailed three reasons why, in their opinion, investors should stay bullish on gold right now. We believe that the tripling in central bank purchases since mid-2022 on fears about U.S. financial sanctions and U.S. sovereign debt is structural and will continue, reported or unreported. Imminent Fed rate cuts are poised to bring Western capital back into the gold market, a component largely absent of the sharp gold rally observed in the last two years. Finally, Dart and her team said, Gold offers significant hedging value to portfolios against geopolitical shocks, including tariffs, Fed subordination risk, and debt fears. As for specific price targets, the strategists at Goldman project gold will reach $2,700 per ounce sometime in early 2025. When any asset is breaking records, it's normal to think, have I missed the boat? When you're looking at gold, you have to examine the underlying factors that drive the price of gold. Geopolitical tensions, global debt, currency devaluation, de-dollarization, government spending. And you have to ask yourself, are these factors getting worse or better? According to many analysts, it's time to buy gold. Until next time.